to Write On with John Crane. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this. Now this is a tool that is used for tuning a drum. And this tool right here has been a collaboration with myself and my friend, Ty Burho, who is a uh, great musician and taba player and teacher of music. And over the years, we developed this hook for tuning this specific drum. Now this is one of these instruments that uh, it's pretty difficult to tune this uh, instrument and uh, it really helps if you have a hook like this to help tune this instrument. This uh, particular instrument is called the tabla and this tabla here is a wood shell and it has what on the side here is uh, like a leather, it's a water buffalo strap that tensions the head on this drum here. And over time, the head starts to stretch and the uh, straps start to stretch and periodically you have to tune this instrument. And a great aid in tuning that instrument is this hook right here. Now it looks kind of like a a hook for uh, hay or th that type of thing. Um, but what this is used for is going in here and pulling this strap around the drum so you're not having to do it with your fingers or that, that type of thing. So over the years, we developed this hook and for, for many years, I've been making this hook uh, here in uh, Washington State. And uh, now uh, Ty Burho has set up his own shop and he's gonna be making these hooks in Colorado. So Ty came out recently for a visit uh, to my shop out here in Washington and we went over all the steps on uh, how the hook is made and uh, so what I have for you today is some video clips of us working together on the hook. Uh, through the video I'm just going to narrate uh, what's going on in the process but uh, we go through step by step of, of how this is made. And it's interesting uh, making a tool. You know, you think of, uh, you know, just looking at this hook, oh, this might be something uh, very simple to make, just a, a piece of wood with a, a hook stuck in it. But any tool you look at, you know, say for instance, a screwdriver or that type of thing, you go to look at that and yeah, it seems like a simple tool, but then you go to make something like that and you realize, all the steps that are involved in making a tool like that. And uh, sure enough, same thing with uh, a hook like this, there's uh, lots of steps in the process. Uh, can, it can be quite tedious and long to, to make a product like this. Now, this particular product is made for my friend Ty and his uh, company is called uh, Tala Records. And he sells this particular hook on his website and He's got uh, quite a few videos up to on his YouTube channel on how this hook is used and how to tune the drum and that type of thing. So you might go over and check out his channel. I believe it's Ty Burho. I think that's his YouTube channel. And I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's move into the video and uh, you guys can check out the process. All right, these hook handles, these are made out of maple. And uh, here they are in long sections before they're cut up. And just doing some layout here to get ready for the branding iron, the burning stamp to burn in Ty's logo, which is Tala Records. So it says Tala Records on the handle there, and then there's a little artwork of some drums. This burning stamp was made by a guy named Clem who milled this out on his CNC uh, into the brass and creates these logos and uh, just an amazing looking logo and just looks great when it's burned in there. Uh, really, really beautiful.
Ty is showing off a uh, beautiful logo there. And then uh, now just uh, taking the sander and just touching real quickly here over the tops of the, uh, the brand there. And it's just taking off a little bit of that smoky haze around the edges and just cleaning up the logo. And as you can see, they're just coming out really nice. Now cutting the handles to size. Sometimes doing a production run of these, uh, sometimes doing a, a hundred handles at a time. Now it's time to move over to the Walker Turner drill press and just drill a hole in here for the hook. This is just a little recess in the top there, so when you put the hook in, it doesn't split out the wood. And then now, this is a little tapping operation. This is pre-threading the hole here to put the hook in. And all this is is a portion of the hook that's cut off and is put into this uh, tapping uh, rig here. And this is just pre-tapping the hole so when you put each hook in it goes in nice and straight. Now just touching up the edges here so they're nice and soft on the sander. Now here is an um, important part of the hook is grinding the tip here on the hook. And this is so you can get it under the strap. There are certain times on the top of the drums when you want that to be to a nice point there and you can slip that under the strap real easily. And so this is a little process here of grinding little facets on the hook and just making it real nice, real neat, professional look there. Doing a little polishing work. Now just touching up those edges there again with a little random orbit sander there. I'm just going to a finer grade paper. Just getting that really nice and smooth so when you hold it in your hand there, it just feels as comfortable as possible. And now uh, putting on a little finish. This is a gel finish, General's finish. Ta-da! And uh, this is, is just a really nice durable finish and really makes that logo pop there. And again, just making this uh, so it's durable and feels really nice in your hand when you're using it. And 
and then uh, these will just go to sit here on a drying rack for uh, like 10-15 minutes and then come back with a rag and uh, buff them off. And this gets a few coats of this finish here. Now just wiping down the hooks here with a little bit of acetone, getting ready to put some epoxy on the threads. And uh, quickly mixing that epoxy up, put a little bit in the hole so when you screw in the hook there, it's in there really solid and strong and that hook's not going to come out of that hole. Nice and straight there while it sets up with the glue. And there's basically a finished hook right there, ready for use after that glue dries up. And just give it a little test. All right, success.